I'm here today at the Waikiki Shell with Dr. Bruce Anderson, who is the director of Hawaii's Department of Health. Happy you could be with us. So nice to see you again. I never know where you're going to show up and in what career field. <laughs> I was actually uh, scheduled to be on your show uh, about a year ago when we had one of our hurricanes come by. And, uh, that was the show was postponed, so it's good to be here. In this role, you're revisiting again as director of Department of Health. You mm -hmm. had this few years ago. Coming back now uh, with maturity and more experience in other fields, um, what are you finding is different and where are we? I'm older now for sure. <laughs> <laughs> more but, patient. Yeah, yeah. The issues have changed. Um, you know, and 20 years ago when I was there, we were, we were working on trying to stop people from smoking cigarettes. Mm. Now it's e-cigarettes and we're worried about kids smoking uh, e-cigarettes and getting hooked on nicotine. Mm. So the, the issues have changed a bit. We have rat lungworm, for example. That was there back then, but it wasn't a focus like it is now. And there are lots of things that have, have really changed, but, but things have stayed the same. My job hasn't changed too much. I'm, I'm basically an advocate for the 3,000 plus health professionals at the health department. And I do provide some direction when, when I think it's needed. Um, for example, on the Red Hill tanks, things that people worry about, we'll say, look, look at drinking water. I've taken a fairly strong position that we need to look at um, removing those tanks and moving the fuel to another place, which is not above the drinking water aquifer there. We all depend on, at least it presents a long-term risk. Um, and but, with, but, you have such a varied background in, in different professions mm -hmm. with water and ocean and hurricane mm -hmm. preparedness. Your focus now as your director of health is even more holistic, I would imagine. I love the water. Uh, climate change, by the way, is a, is a, a focus area for us. Uh, we had two near misses last year from hurricanes and, and of course, tropical storms that are, are going to continue to threaten Hawaii. And, mm -hmm. and a lot of what we're doing in that area is to try to get um, people prepared to build resiliency in the community. And when we do get uh, hit by a large storm, that we're able to respond and, and help communities recover. And I would imagine the whole homeless conversation impacts Department uh, of Health. Yeah. That was there 20 years ago, but it's it's more of a problem now. It's at, at least 20 or 30 percent of the, uh, the homeless have substance abuse or mm. behavioral health problems, and um, and many of those are going untreated. People take these individuals to the emergency rooms when they're acting out or having problems, and often they're, they're discharged without any treatment. Of course, they end up back in the emergency room the next day or, or within a few days, and that's expensive. It's not good for the anyone. It clogs up the emergency rooms and uh, prevents uh, the hospitals from providing care. But more importantly for the individuals, it's, it's a revolving door that has mm -hmm. no end. So we're looking at uh, trying to set up some short-term uh, stabilization beds. And in fact, that's one of the things we're focused on right now is to have a place where the police can take someone other than the emergency rooms, mm -hmm. where they can get the treatment and support they need and become stabilized so that they don't end up back in the emergency rooms and so that they can live their lives. What gives you joy in that department? Well, well, there's a lot of satisfaction in it. And honestly, I, I enjoy working with the, the, uh, the people there. You know, as I mentioned, we've got a, a, a huge number of very dedicated staff who are, who are working on issues that they really are passionate about. And I think that that's, that's ha satisfying in itself. And I might add, I, I really enjoy working for Governor Ige. He's passionate too about um, caring for the community and making sure that it, it's a uh, uh, we're doing the right thing. So it's it's been a pleasure all around. At my age, it's not it's important who you work with. <laughs> and you're still surfing, and who you I work know for. too. <laughs> I enjoy getting in the water, uh, fishing or surfing any any way I can. So we have to bring this conversation to a close at the moment. But thank you very much for giving us your face again and your manao, uh, and we look forward to hearing a little bit more in the future. Glad to join you again. Yeah, Whenever thank you. <laughs> We've had the opportunity to meet Dr. Bruce Anderson, who's director with the Department of Health here in the state of Hawaii. Aloha. <laughs>